<laughs> You've been in Boston for four years now? I moved there in the fall of 2018. So, so almost yeah, four years. Yeah, almost four years. Yeah, and were you ever living in that legendary house that so many... The Brighton house? That's the one. I'm currently living in that oh, house. Oh, wow, okay. So is, so is Dan Bowie, actually. Um, ah. Among many other musicians, um, wonderful musicians. So, yeah. um... Yeah, this house, it's in Brighton, Massachusetts, just outside of Boston. And, uh, yeah, I've, uh, it, there's so much want, crazy turnover and all of my musical idols are many, many of them in the folk music world and outside have l gone through it. And so it's, uh, it's powerful to be a part of such a... And there's a lot of history there and it just, and that monument. history stays there, as you said. And Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Everyone's DNA is still around there, I'm <laughs> sure. Hair. <laughs> and I'm reminded, I was looking at your CD release last week. Yes. Was that at the Burn? Yes, at the Burn back room. And series. did I see uh, Dan Klingsberg up there with you? Yeah, that was a great band. Dan Klingsberg on bass, Issa Burke on yeah. guitar, Victor Furtado from Floyd, Virginia on uh, banjo, and my bandmate Zach Meyer on mandolin. Well, we've had all but Zach here at WTJU, oh, awesome. so it's... Uh, Great to see him. We'll have to make sure Zach gets in here. And, of course, you mentioned Dan Bowie a moment ago. He's also in a group called Dumpster Debbie that I think <laughs> you're a part of. Yes, indeed. Yeah, Dan Bowie and Zach and I, um, among other musicians. You know, we like to think it's a collective, so there have been quite a few different people. Um, but the core group is also um, Hawk and Oyen plays double fiddle um, and banjo uke. And uh, Mike Harmon is on drums, which is kind of a crucial element to our sound. Um, and then we've got um, Dan. Dan's the bass player. Dan Bowie's the bass player. He's a killer bass player, if you didn't know. He's not just a mandolin player, folks. Oh, no. He plays piano. He plays drums. <laughs> he sings. He plays fiddle. Anyway, um, and then, oh, my gosh, Andrew Stearns. Wow. I can't forget the amazing guitar player. Andrew Stern. And as folks, mm -hmm. were, just because it's Dumpster Debbie does not make Sophie Debbie. It's true. It's true. I, I do get pinned as Debbie a lot, but it's okay. I think we're all a Debbie a little bit, you know. And we're also a dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> well, I'm going to get out of the way as we let Sophie Wellington play something on that beautiful guitar. What kind of guitar is that, by the way? Um, this is a... Um, Early 70s, late 60s, um, Martin single O, D18. What are you going to do for us? I'm going to sing, um, I'm going to sing Blue Virginia Blue because we were just talking about my gap year and I spent a lot of it in Richmond. And uh, this Larry Sparks song, it's, it talks about someone very mean who lives in Richmond, which I didn't meet any mean people in Richmond. Like this song first I think from my good friend Sean Newman who grew up in the valley um, near Harrisonburg but he's uh, he's now kicking it down in Asheville and he's doing great things down there so well I'm tuning this particular guitar I got it from my dad Bill Wellington who got it from Carlotta Wellington and uh, I'm pretty lucky to have it Who needs a truss rod? And while Sophie's tuning that, I also want to remind folks that WTJU is supported in part by Star Hill Presents, presenting Robert Earl Keane in concert at the Ting Pavilion in downtown Charlottesville on Tuesday, July 26th. Part of the Bud Light Concert Series. Tickets on sale at tingpavilion.com. And also going to share with you that WTJ is pleased to sponsor the Painting for Ukraine benefit on Tuesday evening, May 17. A large painting by baseball artist David Cochran, inspired by the Ukrainian crisis, will premiere at Vault, Virginia, on Charlottesville's historic downtown mall. Proceeds will benefit Ukraine humanitarian relief. For details, including purchasing tickets and an online auction for the painting, visit vaultvirginia.com Ukraine. And I think that guitar is tuned up. Yeah. Have you ever been to Richmond in November? 
When the cold Virginia rain is coming down Friend, I'm here to tell you it's no pleasure If you're all alone and a stranger to this town uh Don't take me wrong, I do like East Virginia And Richmond's full of hospitality Except for one Virginia girl I know of That made a perfect love wreck out of me Blue Virginia blues There ain't no blue like blue Virginia blues There's no girls in this whole wide world That'll break your heart like Virginia girls Ain't no blue like blue, Virginia blue She called me up in St. Paul, Minnesota Said I need you here in Richmond right away Oh, uh -uh uh-uh-uh Take the bus and I'll meet you at the station Bring some clothes, I might want you to stay Oh, my bus pulled in the station late this evening Oh, I said there ain't a soul around this place but me No, 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 she must have changed her mind Or she's forgotten And her name ain't in the phone directory Virginia blues There's no girls in this whole wide world That'll break your heart like Virginia girls There ain't no blue like blue Virginia blues Oh, I wish I had the money for a taxi Or a warm and cozy place to lay me down Uh Uh-huh Except for standing all alone in Richmond While the cold Virginia rain is coming down Oh, blue, blue Virginia blues There ain't no blue like blue Virginia blues Oh, there's no girls in this whole wide world That'll break your heart like Virginia girls There ain't Small blue like blue Virginia blues Oh, there's no girls in this whole wide world That'll break your heart like Virginia girls There ain't no blue like blue Virginia blues Three wonderful sounds there of Sophie Wellington doing Blue Virginia Blue mm-hmm. song she learned from the great Larry Sparks and if you happen to be within driving distance of Charlottesville and can get out to the front porch here in town this Friday night, that's where Sophie will be performing in celebration of her new album, Roving Jewel. And stick around a little later in the program. Sophie and I will be going through each of the tracks on that album. So I hope you all do stick around. We have declared today to be Sophie Wellington Day here in Charlottesville, at least on honored. WTJU. Pretty honored. That's very nice of you, Peter. Thank you. And Sophie, I'm curious. Uh, you talked about you know kind of the jazz background while you were at Berkeley. I imagine you got to study some jazz. And what else did did you study while you were there in Boston? Well, a mixture of things. You know, I elected to take the um, I elected to major in kind of a build your own major model there called professional music studies or professional music. And um, the idea there is that (laughs) you end up being a professional musician. And in in choosing that path, you'll need a a number of different skills. And so uh, I took some production classes. I took some um, theory classes and business and marketing classes, you know, the kind of that side of things. But also I was able to really lean into some different... uh, 
theory classes. I took some very interesting um, classes in approaching music theory from different angles. And also, I mean, Berkeley has a very diverse um, faculty and um, course offerings. Um, so I, I ended up taking a really cool class this past semester called um, Microtonal Theory and Application, where you're just thinking, learning lots about um, Arabic maqam music and how microtones exist in that music, but also how to identify them in like folk music, lots of old time uh, tunes specifically, but other American folk music, blues, right? There's lots of um, microtonality in that. And uh, also studied with the um, folk greats, uh, Bruce Molsky, Daryl Anger, Matt Glazer, Paul, Rochelle, and Annie Rains, um, Kevin Barry, took some great classes with um, Mark Simos, and, uh, and more. So very grateful for my education. And of course, as I said, you've got this new album out now, but it's not your, this is your first solo album, but you've released some other albums, including, I mentioned Dumpster Debbie, you've got an album out with them, and then yeah. a digital album with another one, another one of your groups that is The False Positives. Let's yes. talk about, first of all, the title, <laughs> the name of the group. Did that come pre-COVID or was that a no, result? No, no. Okay. <laughs> it was definitely a COVID project. Um yeah, I mean, I think it's on our website, so I can go ahead and tell, talk about it on the radio. That uh, um, great, great banjo player Steve Arkin and um, and his wife Kathy Mason we're we're good friends with them, and we play often with them in uh, our old time jam that we host. This is, I'm talking about me and my bandmate Zach Meyer, but everyone in that band is really. Uh, shows up in that old time scene, so we play quite a lot together, and we were having a COVID jam with Steve, and um, and the day afterwards, and it was right around Thanksgiving, so we actually ended up having to quarantine through Thanksgiving because he texted us saying, I just got a fluke positive test, but I feel fine, Kathy feels fine, everybody's fine, so that's where our name came from, the false positives, so nobody run and blame Steve, but you could give him some credit. And, well, while you can't get a hard copy of that album, you can't find that online over at Bandcamp. Yep. Well, loads more questions for you, Sophie, but how about we get another one? Sure. I'm going to do Billy Strayhorn's Take the A Train because, um, <laughs> yeah, in honor of Jazz Town, in honor of uh, my jazz education. And also it's on the record. And uh, it's got this great piano trio that um, play a couple of jazz cuts. That's Nikolai Mashenko, Stefano Battaglia, and um, Yair Amster, mm. um, piano, bass, and drums. They're great. And so I'm going to do a real stripped down country blues version for you. With uh, um, One of the things I was doing a lot at Berkeley was writing vocalese. So I wrote these lyrics over a solo that I'll, uh, I'll sing for you. But I did not write um, Jim Snedero, a Jim Snedero sax solo. Here it goes. You must take the A train to go to Sugar Hill way up in Harlem. And if you miss the A train, you'll find you'll miss the quickest way to Harlem. Oh, hurry, get on now, it's coming, it's coming now. Listen to those wheels and the rails are thrumming. Da 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 Start to make some coffee, pack a lunch and take a shower, maybe. Run out the door with dripping hair and half a bagel, it's stale and plain. And the train won't wait up, it'll just whiz by. At half past, it will have left me seven blocks to go. I hope I make it, I can't be late again and keep my job. Now I'm stuck, construction is blocking my way. I can't seem to pass it, excuse me. I pass it on the left and I pick up the pace 
Four blocks to go now at a full out sprint The people around me cannot take a hint Come on guys, move out of my way, it's urgent Two and a half considering investing in a bicycle But I'll never ride it, not in the morning It wouldn't really help I got a cramp in my side But I'm so close, running the corner With minutes to spare, hoping I get there Swipe my metro card through the machine and book it two flights of stairs and pass a person asking for change. I throw a coin, but I miss cutting it close. I see it. Uh. I run, I squeeze into the train car, and I do it all again. Tomorrow, hurry, hurry, hurry. Get on the A train, oh, and soon you will be on Sugar Hill in Harlem. But if you miss it, if you miss the A train, oh, yada, find that you'll miss the quickest way to Harlem. Oh, hurry, come on, I know you know that it's coming. And you better listen to those wheels and those rails of thrumming. Sugar Hill and Harlem. <laughs> Off of Sophie Wallinson's new album, Roving Jewel. That is Sophie doing live. Take the A train. And stick around because a little later in the program, we'll be going track by track through the album. And we'll get to hear how that sounds on the album. And we were lucky enough to just hear a live version of it. Be with different. Sophie and her guitar. It'd definitely be different. That's the beauty of music is that, you know, the studio sound is always different than, well, not always, but almost always different than the live sound. So it's great to experience that and see how artists get to reinterpret things depending on how it's being presented. And you can catch Sophie here in Charlottesville this Friday night at the Front Porch. That show starts at 8 o'clock. Do check out frontporchseville.org. And... Sophie today has got her fiddle and guitar with her. I don't know what she, And, of course, her dance board we're going to hear. Her doing a little dancing as well, that percussive, that uh, certainly we've had here at the station many a time, including one of my favorites, and I think Sophie's as well, Nick Garris, who first oh really gosh. introduced me to percussive dance when he came through town the first time with the Fortet with Brittany Haas, Cleek Shry, and Jordan Tice. So it's always a wonderful treat to see a dance board brought up on stage sophie we talked about that guitar let's talk about that fiddle what's the history on it i love this fiddle this is um a fiddle i bought in the fall of 2020 um and it's um an acoustic electric strings instrument from gary bartig out of um minneapolis and yeah, it's a five string. It's their London five string model. They have a couple different ones, but um, you know, they do such a wonderful job. And I love this instrument. And um, it's been really fun to have this instrument throughout the pandemic because uh, it's just, you know, a new chance to, it's, it's a new chance to explore the violin and all it can offer. And um, yeah, I love it. <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter the fiddle, if it, the violin, if it's yours and you love it. I mean, you don't have to get, I think they just said, announced the primary fiddler for the Wizard of Oz and some other, his, his, his violin has just gone up online and they're expecting it. It's a Stradivarius to go for $27 million. <laughs> so, <laughs> but, uh, you know, you find a violin change. you love and you just stick with it. It doesn't have wow. to be a $27 million Violin, you find one that you love, as Sophie's got that beautiful five-string electric there. And, yeah. And enjoy it. And I do want to remind folks before we hear the next set of tunes that this program is supported in part by Star Hill Presents, presenting Willie Nelson in concert at the Ting Pavilion in downtown Charlottesville, Tuesday, August 9. Tickets on sale May the 13th. That's tomorrow at yeah. tingpavilion.com. Well, Sophie, you've got that fiddle all tuned up. What are we going to hear? Well, I'm going to play you another tune off my record. This is Katie Cruel, Shaking Down the Acorns. Katie Cruel is a traditional um, American song with roots in Scottish music, but um, you know it was made famous by the incredible Karen Dalton, folk singer and instrumentalist and activist. Um, 
and also Lancome, which is this incredible um, ballad and folk band. They're, I can't even begin to describe their sound, but it's uh, just awesome. So those are some good versions to check out in, in addition to this one that I'll play for you now, which is a little bit more stripped down. Um, but it's fun to do that sometimes. And then I'm, it's going to go into Shaking Down the Acorns, a tune that comes from Ed and Hammonds from West Virginia, and I learned it from my dad. When I first came to town, they called me the roving jewel. And now they changed their tune and they call me Katie Cool. If I was where I would be, then I'd be where I am not. Bum ba da da, there I am where I must be. Thank you. 
live here at the stage. We've got Sophie Wellington doing Katie Cruel and going into Shaking Down the Acorns. And you can find those both on Sophie's new album, Roving Jewel, out now. And if you happen to be lucky enough to be in Charlottesville, you can pick up a copy at the front porch tomorrow evening. That show starts at 8 o'clock. And, of course, you can always head over to sophiewellington.com. And I suspect all the usual spots, maybe even Bandcamp, to pick up a copy of that. If you want to get a digital copy or hard copy, however you want it, I suspect Sophie has those waiting for you. You bet. And she's switching from her fiddle to back and forth, her guitar back and forth. again. And, of course, we heard some wonderful dancing in that last set. Sophie, let's, let's talk about, you know, obviously you're celebrating the release of this new album now, right now, but... I suspect you've got some touring coming up in the upcoming weeks, months. Yeah, a little bit. You know, here and there I'm playing some shows. Um, it's more like house concerts going down south. Really, I'm uh, I'm going to be at a, quite a lot of old-time fiddlers conventions this summer. I'm pretty excited about that. So I'm going to be going to Mount Airy. I'm going to go to um, Clifftop. And that's kind of where I like to, um, where I like to head in the summer, I, I find a lot of um, new friends, new connections, new musical ideas. Um, but I have some cool stuff coming up in Asheville. I'm going to play a house concert down there. More info to come soon. And um, I have, um, I'm going to make some videos down there as well with, uh, oh man, Old Home Place Recordings, I think is oh, great. what he's called. That okay. is, is great. Um, and, uh, yeah, I've been really, um, I made a music video also for that last tune, Shaking Down the Acorns, that, or uh, Katie Krull and Shaking Down the Acorns, that uh, you can check out too if you if you go on YouTube. I don't know. Does yeah. anyone even go on YouTube? Everyone? Well, <laughs> old timers like me do still, so we appreciate yeah. that it's there. Yeah, you know. You, you get pulled down that, that endless chain of everything that's there. You start to watch one thing, and you know, I yeah. go in to watch something on sous vide, and all of a sudden I'm watching... <laughs> Su Suvaki and uh, Sumo Wrestling. There you go. <laughs> so you never know what's there. Which is also so awesome. So do check that out. And of course, I hope you all stick around because a little later in the program, we will be going track by track through Roving Jewel with Sophie. So do stick around here at WTJU and Fog Beyond. We're here till seven having some fun with Sophie Wellington on Sophie Wellington Day here mm -hmm. on WTJU. Yes. We'll want to let you know that WTJU is pleased to sponsor the Charlottesville Arts Festival mm -hmm. on Friday, May 27 through Sunday, May 29 at XArt Park. This three-day celebration of creativity, diversity, and community is a chance to immerse yourself in art, festi in art festivities which include over 50 fine arts vendors from across the East Coast, hands-on art making, live music, fire dancers, and more. The Friday, May 27 kickoff at 6 p.m. features the unveiling of the new America Connects National Mural Mosaic. Tickets are available at xartpark.org. And are you going to have the dance board, guitar, and fiddle, anything else with you tomorrow night at Front Porch that we're not getting, that we're not privy to here this afternoon? No, I think you're, I think you're getting a pretty good picture. All right. Well, <laughs> you can excited. actually see that in person for those who are listening or maybe watching over on our YouTube or WTJU channels. But right now, I'm going to get out of the way again because Sophie's got that guitar all tuned up. And where are you going to head? Well, I'm going to sing a song by the phenomenal um, tunesmith, old-time fiddle player also, and uh, songwriter P Pete Sutherland from right. Vermont. Um, this is called Work in the World. I'll be the giant sprawling on your floor. I'll hand you the pieces if you show me what they're for. And if our towers tumble, we'll build them up more. We will never be tired of trying. Oh, silly me to think I should be. For so long, so long in my work in the world, so long in my work in the world. I'll 
I'll be the shoulder ride, the horsey round the ring. The puller of the wagon and the pusher of the swing. And the hand that holds you steady when two wheels crown you king. Two kings riding homeward together. Silly me to think I should be away for so long, so long in my work in the world, so long in my work in the world. I'll be the angel kneeling by your bed My halo for your nightlight And my heart your sleepy head Although heaven has its singers I'll hearken instead to the soft Simple sound of your breathing Oh Silly me to think I should be away for so long, so long in my work in the world, so long in my work in the Work in the World, Pete Sutherland, tune there, performed by Sophie Wellington, here live at the stage. We're celebrating Sophie's new album, Roving Jewel, and also celebrating that she's in town here in Charlottesville for a concert at the Front Porch tomorrow night. That show starts at 8. Do check out frontporchseville.org, and while you're online, check out sophiewellington.com. We've got links up at wtju.net for both. Well, Sophie, I'm curious... uh, of course, I know you're always working on your own music or with Dumpster Debbie, Debbie or with the False Positives, but do you find yourself listening to other music? I know a lot of musicians prefer to listen mm. to podcasts or get away from other music oh, when they're trying to just escape. Yeah, I mean, I listen to lots of music. I've been listening to Michael Hurley all the time. Um, wonderful songwriter, really bluesy. Um I listen to The Onlys. Oh, yes. I love The Onlys. Great Mm -hmm. band out of the Pacific Northwest. However, I think most of them are down. Actually, I mean, they're all down in the South now. So That's true. (laughs) They're wonderful. Um, Let's see. I mean, I listen to Twisted Pine. Of course. (laughs) Featuring Dan Bowie, of course, who we've had the band here at WTJE before. Yeah. Um, But my, my taste ranges through lots of different styles and genres you know and I like to explore new music um, so yeah but I'm excited t- to make some playlists for my drives this summer so if you I don't know I should talk to you about what to listen to Peter you're so tuned in <laughs> well always happy to share but uh, it's always fun to hear what our artists are listening to when they're on the road sure. or on the skies or wherever they may be heading Sophie, let's talk about the the dance side of it. You know, you've obviously done a little, and we talked about Nick Garris a little bit. When when did you start doing some dancing? I started when I was um, seven. I was doing. I was involved in Brims, oh, yes. Blue Ridge Irish Music School's Irish dancing program. Yeah, and uh, I did that for a long time, um, ten years or something like that. Yeah. Um, and so I was really, you know, like this yep. all the time, all that stuff. Yep. And then I, I really got into um, into flat footing and clogging from square dancing and contra dancing, seeing people do it when they're going, you know, swinging their partner or like walking in a circle. There is this Tennessee, Tennessee walking step, which is um, just that four... 
that kind of train sound. So I really like to play with that. So I've been kind of, um, I guess, bringing things I'm learning in, at Berkeley into into this dance um, tradition and displacing things. Well, you know, I, I say this is how I'm coming at it, but I, I often find that I'll figure out this cool new thing I'm doing, and then I'll talk to somebody like like Nick Garris, and I'll be like, oh, yeah, this this person invented that, and it's very cool, and this is all the history behind it. So it's great to have people like Nick who are so tuned into how dancing evolves and um, and the kind of the history behind it and also the technique. So, you know, yeah. Uh, someone else my... like Matt Allwell. You know, was... Oh, my gosh. Yeah. yeah. So Matt Allwell, Emily Olson. Also, yeah. Aaron Allwell is oh, a great right. dancer, of course, too. Yeah. So. Of course. We're in a band together as well. I, you know, a, okay. I'd, I just call all of my bands Band of Friends because... Maybe I should ask what bands are you not in. It might be easier that way. <laughs> <laughs> we actually, Aaron and I have a Christmas album on Bandcamp. Um, called Whistle and Scat's Christmas a la mode, and it's all modal Christmas songs. So. Yeah, I was looking at that. It's uh, And folks can find that on Bandcamp. Indeed, indeed, yeah. Well, those just tuning in, we do have Sophie Wellington with us here on WTJU Charlottesville, and we've got her performing live for us. And she's going to do one more for us, and then we're going to go upstairs and do a track-by-track track of her new album, Roving Jewel. So... As I go upstairs to prepare for that, Sophie, how are you going to mm-hmm. close things out as you're tuning up that beautiful fiddle? I'm going to play a tune called John Sharp's Three-Way Hornpipe. And as she's tuning that up, I do want to just thank Lewis and Kim for running sound and getting these cameras running for us. And for those who want to go back and watch the video so you get to see Sophie's demonstrations of the dance styles, this is up on our YouTube channel as well as our Facebook page. So you can find those links over at WTJU.net. And, of course, we're going to have this live session up on our SoundCloud as well for perpetuity. So now let me get out of the way. And one more time for this piece. John Sharp's Three-Way Hornpipe. Thank you. 